Welcome to the final part of this tutorial of how a magnet media video is edited. So to get started, let's first open up this, the third part, because as we left off on third part, we saw that we had fixed a few things. Now that it is going to be doing this. Okay, the first thing, uh, I'm going to add some of the overlays or the effects which are needed in this scene. The first one, anything which is moving in the background is going to be important. So I'm going to get this shockwave. I'm going to drag it and drop it below. So maybe I could add this thing called polar coordinate. Okay. And then I can increase it a bunch and then move it like this downwards. Though I want it to be upside down. Okay. So let's first scale it down a bit. So rotate it 90 degrees or 180 when it flipped upside down. Cool. I think I like this. Okay. Now that's the first thing. But now I. Um, since this is in the background, it's better to just put it here. So if we move it to this side, you will see. Okay, that's pretty much it. So let's make this even longer. Okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. You know what? I think maybe we could just leave it like this. And then I could cut this from there. And then extend this you know i'm holding out and then i'm moving it so it's like extending the time so now we're gonna change the blend mode to so when you make it screen you'll be able to see the background behind it yeah i think i like this though this space i don't like the space below perhaps i could duplicate this and move it slightly lower like this okay so that you don't have that space below. I'm going to reduce the opacity to 70 and also this one to uh, like 70 as well. So when we come here in the background, now I could increase. Now I'm going to reduce this even more. To like 40 and this one applies to this too 40 I'm trying to bring in the background a bit okay cool but then I want this to be below I want it to be on top yeah somehow like that now <clears throat> in the same thing or in the same composition we're going to look for particles we have particles here so for the particles I'm going to look for some crazy uh, particles which are moving let's look for those those particles okay i think these are the same yeah these are better oh these are so crazy yeah i think these would do so now i'm gonna get them particles now i'm going to just use these brackets like that okay you see that that's how we roll bro that's how we roll I think I'm gonna get these and bring them down here. It actually makes more sense when they're here. You see that? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. But now the problem is uh, these ones, they're not, you know, like, uh, I need to get rid of the background, okay? So I'm just gonna turn all of them to normal. And then I'm going to bring back this, but now you can see nothing, okay? So now I'm gonna use this. It is, um, it's alpha so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to okay let me just remove this I'm going to get these two copy and I'm gonna paste it on this one too and paste it on this one too so you see it's all particles which are going through but then we've cut off the black parts okay so now when you come back here in our main composition you will see everything is there but then you know it has no background Let's try to play around with levels and see. I would prefer to have levels on top though. Okay, and this one applies to this guy. Yeah, that's fair enough. I like that. So you see, now that's how it is. Get that. You know what, I feel like I could add this uh, texture as well. This texture here. And then increase it a bit screen 
yeah you could use screen but then i have to also add levels on it to reduce and now on this next one we do have an overlay on top of it okay so this overlay is gonna be like let me even just go back in my project files uh it's not here but then let me get it So on scene 2, we're going to add this on the extreme top. So I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. You see that? Let me just cut it from here. I'll extend it like later. So not holding out. Now I've, hold, now I've held the out key and then I'm going to expand it. Yeah, that's, that's better. But then I'm going to reduce the opacity to like 60%. I really do like that yeah now i'm gonna go back it's applied already and maybe the one thing which is left there is a transition here and a transition here so now in order to add a transition here um remember when i told you that you had to download this animation composer yeah this is uh you're gonna see it it's a transition you're gonna add here so now let me come at the point where we break it okay so this is where it breaks now we're gonna go here and go in pre-comp starter pre-comps and look for this so now it's done does that now make sense cool and also there's another transition okay and the transition is like i have an asset here in my assets folder and uh, it is a uh, film damaged so i'm going to go through it to look for a particular point i feel like this is better from this point to this point this has to be on top now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change the blend mode here to screen okay you see it's like okay that's it but now um the overlays and um the first overlay which I'm going to use is um, I have this woven texture. I'm going to put it here below, resize it a bit. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a levels adjustment layer here. And then levels, I'm going to say uh, black. Input black is going to be 170. Maybe just let me just increase it by just one or six. Because I'm trying to crush, you know, like most of the uh, the black parts. And this, I'm going to make it 0.83. Now I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply. So here you will see that, you know, you can see most of the things. Let's use the opacity to 30. So there is some bit of texture and yeah. Also another thing, we're going to add another overlay. So for this, I'm going to scale it to comp oh i think also this will make more sense if it's scaled to comp let me first hide this and see how it looks okay so this one too i'm gonna tack it into multiply as well so now some parts are hidden but this i'm going to expand it slightly a bit okay somewhere like that Cool. Now again, I'm going to come here and add an adjustment layer below the same transitions and I'm going to call this Vignetti. Vignetti. Yeah, I'm going to leave it as default, like the way it is, like that. Mm, yeah, I guess you learned something. If you like this video, comment below or like, subscribe, and maybe do anything that people do. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the course. The course is coming, so bye-bye.